Chapter 5, Problem-Solving Technique In this chapter, you will learn about the seven-step problem-solving technique that you can use in your personal and your professional lives for diffusing any problem or hurdle that you come across. Have you ever been in a situation where you thought to yourself, I wish I didn't jump to that conclusion so quickly? Maybe I didn't solve the right problem. Perhaps I acted too quickly without all the necessary information, or something along the same lines. Well, we have all come across such situations, and therefore it is essential to understand how to solve a problem. Finding the right problem to solve. Well, does it seem surprising that we are starting with this step? This is a simple yet a crucial step. Think about all the time, energy, and resources that we end up dedicating towards problems that don't necessarily need all that attention. Ask yourself a simple question. Is this the right problem to solve? More often than not, the usual approach towards solving a problem happens to be reactive. We wait for a problem to arise before thinking of a solution. The first step towards practical problem solving is that you should start being proactive. Find a problem and address it before it can ever arise. Look at all the likely issues that might come up and go about fixing them one after the other. Defining the problem. This might seem like a very simple thing to do, but like the previous step, this is very important and you shouldn't skip it. This is, in fact, the key to solving problems efficiently. By combining problems that are valuable to solve and then defining what you are trying to solve will dramatically help in improving your problem-solving efficiency. Attitude is the key to determining a problem. Try to look for an opportunity in every hurdle you are faced with. Look for the silver lining. This is very important, and it helps you in defining the problem in such a manner that it will help you in focusing on the potential that's available in every situation you come across. Start starving your problems and start feeding all the opportunities you have. Well, you might not see it right away, but every problem is a learning opportunity. When you stop thinking of a problem as an obstacle and instead view it as an opportunity, you'll be able to deal with it effectively. So try framing your problem with a positive attitude, and it will not seem dreadful anymore. Analyzing the problem. Analysis comprises of the process of discovering facts and finding out all the relevant information about the situation that you are in. You can even make a checklist of different bits of information that you will require and then go about collecting the same. You will need to dig deep and try to analyze what the problem is and isn't. A critical aspect of this step is to make sure that you involve the right people. You can make use of these three simple questions while selecting the people who can be brought on board for helping you solve the problem. Who knows? Who are all the people who know about the situation and have information or something of value to contribute? Who cares? Who are all those who would care if something is being done to rectify the problem on hand? Who can? Who can help you in finding a solution? These questions are quite fundamental and can come in handy when you are trying to identify all those who can help you in solving a problem. Analysis often needs a detailed examination of a given situation, and this step shouldn't be skipped at any cost. If you don't analyze a situation thoroughly, you never know what it is and what it isn't. When you don't have this basic information, it does become quite difficult to think of an ideal solution. Developing possibilities. Once you've understood the problem that has to be solved, the next step is to take some time and come up with creative solutions for the problem. It is essential not just to acknowledge the ideas that you come up with, but also the ideas that others put forward. You cannot be a good leader if you don't listen to what others also have to say. You will first need to find the right problem to solve and then think of all the opportunities that such a problem can create. But how exactly will you be able to focus on these opportunities? There will be more than one solution for solving a problem. The idea of this step is to get you to brainstorm on your own or with others to come up with different possibilities. There will always be plenty of alternatives to choose from. It is an important skill to understand the various alternatives that are at your disposal. Selecting the best solution. The next step is to find the best solution for the problem on hand. 
Now that you have multiple alternatives to choose from, you need to pick one solution and get started with it. It might seem slightly overwhelming when you have different options to choose from, and that's why you need to think about this step carefully. There will be various pros and cons of selecting a particular method. There will be specific constraints that you should take into consideration, and all the likely solutions should be thoroughly evaluated. There are three simple steps that you can follow while selecting a solution. The first step is to gauge the operational validity it offers. Are you capable of acting on this idea, or is it just something that you talk about? Will you be able to do something immediately for bringing in the future you truly desire? Can this solution be implemented efficiently? The second step is to check its economic validity. Certain solutions are good, but then when you start looking at their economic validity, it defeats the purpose of even trying to solve the problem. The investment you are making for solving a problem shouldn't be greater than the result you are expecting. If this isn't the case, then you should certainly evaluate other solutions. The third step is to think about the personal commitment you will need to make. Do you honestly believe that this idea will work, and can you vouch for its validity? Take some time and think about these questions. All the alternatives wouldn't answer all the three questions. If you find a solution that answers the three questions positively, then you have your final solution that needs to be implemented. Start implementing. This is the most crucial step. If you don't execute an idea, then there is no point in even thinking about solving a problem. However, before you implement a particular idea, make sure that you have carefully defined the problem and the outcome you desire. The problem has been thoroughly analyzed, all the information that you will need is at your disposal, and you have indeed opted for the best course of action that's available to you. If the idea of you have zeroed in on doesn't answer any of the above points in the affirmative, then retrace your steps and make the necessary changes. Evaluate and learn. When you are done executing all the steps mentioned above, you will need to evaluate the work that's been done. Check if the desired results have been achieved. If not, then check what went wrong. Make a list of all the things that you can improve on the next time around. Every opportunity to solve a problem will teach you something. Be open to learning and evaluate it all yourself. Make use of these simple steps for solving all the problems that you will come across.